Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series, your source for all the latest news and updates. Today I'm going to be going over all of the new content in this brand new Red Dead Online update. There's a new legendary bounty, there's some new bonuses, benefits and discounts this week and I'm going to be going over it all in today's video. So first of all, let's cover the new legendary bounty. I'll have some gameplay in the background of Yukon Nikolai Barod. So first of all, let's go over the legendary bounty, Yukon Nikolai Barodin. And this is actually the last confirmed legendary bounty we're going to get into Red Dead Online. This is the 10th and final week of legendary bounties. Essentially, this is the last of the drip feed content we're getting from the last Frontier Pursuits DLC. And from here on, it's probably going to be small updates until we receive future information about the next major DLC or even expansions onto the current roles, because currently we have no information of those, so it's not really realistic to expect that to come next week. So coming next week, there's probably going to be very small updates. But the bounty this week is actually pretty epic. Yukon Nikolai Barodin is a Russian-born trapper and hunter with several outstanding warrants from his time spent in the territory of Alaska. He is currently being sought out for the known murders of several men as well as the disappearance of a US Marshal sent to bring him to justice. A few words of warning, rumour has it that Borodin keeps his wild grizzlies captive and much like his bears is highly territorial, dangerous and short of temper. Yukon, Nick and his entourage were last seen in the area of Strawberry near Fort Riggs. As well as the reward for handing in this bounty, Rockstar are actually giving an additional one for turning in the bounty this week and you'll get 3 special snake oil and also 10 big game meat. So once you've done the new bounty this week you should get those delivered to you within 24 hours. Next up let's go over the discounts and bonuses this week and they're all themed around the trader. So the trader is going to get a 50% bonus on delivery vehicles however the catch is it's only small or medium wagons that actually get this bonus. So if you do have the large delivery wagon you're not going to be getting a bonus on that unfortunately. If you haven't already purchased your delivery wagons, you can get 25% off your trading and hunting wagons. And interestingly, you can also get a 50% discount on trader resupply orders, which is a really weird discount since it was pretty inexpensive anyway, and it still really isn't worth doing those. Lastly, there's also a discount in the Wilderness Outfitters, and you can save 40% if you want to buy any of your campsite decorations. So unfortunately this week, if you are already well versed in your trader role and you already have the large wagon, these discounts aren't going to be too relevant for you since they're not really going to be helping you out this week. However, if you are a new player or you've just started the role, or even if you've just got Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC recently, these discounts you definitely want to take advantage of. But yeah, I can't help but feel a wee bit disappointed this week with the discounts because last week well, we obviously had a big money making week with the collector role and this week it seems more geared to just those new players. If you're on PlayStation, PlayStation Plus members are also going to get some free cards if you play Red Dead Online before the 25th of November. You're going to be getting the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, all free of charge. Next up, let's go over the new clothing added to Red Dead Online. There's a Chumley flat cap, just what we need in Red Dead Online, another flat cap. But you can pick this one up for two gold bars. Next is the Salakudo shirt, you can pick this one up for three gold bars. The update this week is quite gold heavy. The Crutchfield suspenders, you can pick this one up for one gold bar. And a pair of dress shoes, which are literally called dress shoes, and you can purchase these for $80.50. There's a new poncho, the Cardenas poncho, which is $175. The Fulbright coat for $270. There's also a few new items for female characters out there. So there's the Ballard jacket, the Aguar boots, and the Godale shirtwaist, which unfortunately I can't show because I am not a female character. And there's also a couple of new tints of the bandana and also the trimmed bandana. There's a new temporary collection this week called the Bowman's Collection, where you have to collect the Flint Arrowhead, the Raw Arrowhead, and the Agate Arrowhead that you can sell together as a set for some nice cash. And there's also a new featured free aim series called Team Shootout. But yeah, that's all the new content we've got this week. Rockstar did finish off their newswire saying to stay tuned to the newswire in the coming weeks 
for more information. So I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date and on any new information on the next major DLC. If you did enjoy today's video, please take a few seconds to leave it a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.